Hi. Hi. Welcome to our first Down and Derby Diary. Yeah, this is a little bit different. We're basically going to discuss how we feel. Like a therapy session? Yeah, kind of. A derby therapy session. Yeah. Uh, so I know we had said we were going to do our own personal derby diaries, but we thought that maybe um, doing one with the both of us at the beginning uh, would just be... Get the ball rolling. Yes. So, brief synopsis of our first few months of the year. We started in January. We generally start yeah. our year in January. Um, we had a couple of weeks of just our regular league members playing together or practicing together. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then beginning of February, our freshies started. We've had a lot of like ups and downs in regards to our practice space. Yeah, um, that's been a bit of a struggle. It's been a little bit of a struggle. So just communication breakdowns and things like that and you know things being double booked and we getting the short end of the stick despite the fact that we've yeah. been there for four years but whatever that's another story um and our location is used for other things a lot yeah. so like we were hardly it's our in community there. auditorium right? the, the end of march to the middle late april we were just not in we had like two practices that was it, it yeah just because there's so much going on um and in that time i personally played five weekends in five of derby Oh yeah, you had a really busy I had week. a really busy couple of weeks. That's um, crazy. So from the second weekend of March to the first week of April, I played derby every weekend for five mm -hmm. weekends. One of them being our first tournament, which we will um, we'll send out our derby diaries of our first tournament, just sort of our personal experiences mm -hmm. with that. But uh, one of them was our first tournament, which was really super fun. And it was a great experience. A really great <clears throat> learning experience. And I think uh, because we're such a new league, um, a lot of people really, really underestimate us yes, we were. League. We've had players come up and just say, "Man, you guys have come a really long yeah. way." And like, even we, in the last year, yeah, especially in the last year, I think mm -hmm. was our biggest like jump, jump and growth. Mm -hmm. We played a lot of teams that were definitely, they were significantly better. But yeah. when we played those teams, yeah, we lost, but we made big jumps yeah. in, in ability, yeah, um, like kind of evenly amongst everybody. So exactly, um, it really helped. I personally, uh, as of right now. Yeah. Again, we're having issues with practice space. We were supposed to practice. Even practice last night. We were supposed to practice and we got in there and there was tables and chairs all over the place. And it's not like we, we could have moved them, but the, the bottom line is we there we paid for the space. We paid for the space. Plus the we were space. kind of like, we didn't have everyone out that night. Mm -hmm. and it's like, is it worth it to spend the money for the space that we have to take 20 minutes, 20 to, minutes to move to everything, move. 20 minutes to move everything back. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, let's just go get a beer yep. and have a discussion. We'll talk about roller derby. Yeah. So that's what we did. Um, they that, did promise to do squats and they didn't. I'll do them. I've been, I've been kind of falling off the wagon. I'll totally admit it as far <laughs> as working out. I did a 3K run the other day and then just, I've just had like super energy drain the yeah. last couple weeks. I'm hoping to get back into yeah. working out I have also had a little bit of energy drain, but that's like a whole other. That's life. Yeah, yeah. we're selling our house and that's a whole thing. And so it's been, it's very interesting to me to see how my brain kind of works and wants to shut down and and last week I shut down mm -hmm. I was like I'm not coming to practice I don't have the emotional physical energy to go to practice and I didn't go and um and then I wasn't I wasn't able to go last night because we were doing house stuff we had a, a home inspection and whatever ended up meeting the girls for a beer but uh this evening I was like feeling the same way I'm like I don't want to do anything I don't mm -hmm. I don't want to go out I don't want to do anything I don't and I, we're obviously at your house, so I had to leave my house to come here. And so I was like, you know what, screw it. And I did a workout, and I feel a lot better. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a similar, like, emotional boat, but for different reasons. Yeah. And it's just like, I can't, my brain is just like, I've been in a fog for like two weeks. Yeah. I think part of it, to be honest, is the weather. It's been raining steady here. Yeah, it has been. And it's been a bit of a damper. <laughs> Dampened our spirits. Dampened our spirits. God, we're crazy. Isn't it good? Um, funny. And I know, but really, it's just like, yeah. You can't go anywhere. It's raining. It's crappy. I can't even skate outside. So yeah, uh, that hasn't really helped. But I'm hoping like now that I'm telling and, and saying it now, I, I'm realizing I really need to get back and get mm -hmm. on that working out. Right All right, away. you guys, this is your job. Keep us accountable. We're trying really hard here and we're failing apparently. <laughs> apparently we suck at keeping each we other had accountable. <laughs> oh, two weeks-ish where yeah. things weren't great. But I will admit, these are the things that are great right now. Yeah. Um, my shoulder definition this year, I have not amazing. had any shoulder pain this year. Yeah. Last year it was an absolute nightmare. I was yeah. like every bout, I was taping them. Yeah. I was going to practice. You were sore after uh, Athletic therapists because they just weren't strong and I was pulling the AC joints here. 
yeah. this winter to now i i regularly work out my shoulders like that's like the first thing i do mm -hmm. like it's a pre-workout before my actual workout mm -hmm. i always do shoulders yeah so that's been good and it's i had great. someone someone at practice was complaining because i nailed them in the ribs with them and i was like i'm sorry yeah she sucks Got dagger shoulders. Dagger shoulders. I didn't think they were that. They're bony. pretty bad. That's yeah. Wait until you get I, hit with your own shoulders. I had a girl at one game where I hit her and she's like, oh! <laughs> and I was like, yes. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Yeah. Um, and for me, like on a personal level, mm -hmm. um, I mean, I probably if you've been watching our videos since last year. I have been steadily kind of losing weight a little bit and it's been a journey. It's been a real journey for me and um, not where I want to be and I'm working hard, but it was really, really cool because I went shopping this weekend with my girlfriends and, um, and I found these really fun pants that I was wearing in a previous video. Or a They're post in, video. Depends post, on which. We're not sure when this one gets sent out. Um, but. These pants, like if, if these pants weren't made for roller derby, I don't know what was. They're great. What brand are those? I don't know. Forever 21. Oh. I didn't even know that, okay? In my life, since I have been an adult human, which is a long time, I have never bought anything from Forever 21. Mm -hmm. I went to Plato's Closet and bought these, which is a really great consignment shop. If anybody has a Plato's Closet, get your stuff there. It's awesome. Yeah. Uh, better for the environment and uh, the stuff's really good. That's interesting that it's Forever 21 because I would never have walked. I don't walk into Forever 21 because I'm like, nothing fits me. Now you're, you have an excuse. And can. I know I can. <laughs> so I grabbed these short, these pants off the rack and I was like, well, they're a large. We'll try them. They're probably going to be tight, right? Mm -hmm. They're not going to look great. Those pants look great on me and they I love them really and they fit awesome. And I was like, it was a real sort of like eye opener to be like, okay, I don't necessarily see the, prod the, the product of how hard I'm working out and the scale isn't moving all that much because I'm building muscle. Yeah, totally building muscle, but, by the way. <laughs> but, you know, my pants are fitting differently. I'm, you know, I'm able to wear stuff from Forever 21. I've never been able to wear before. Uh, so it was just a really cool uh, reminder for me this weekend. It was mm -hmm. really, really neat. Sometimes you have to, like, when you're having a shitty week, you got to still remind yourself of the wins. Yes. And that was a good win for me yeah. this week.